real world winter range in a Model 3. Next on Now You Know. All right, so we're gonna go for a long distance drive today. Uh, the temperature outside is currently 10 degrees Fahrenheit. That would be this much in Celsius. Mm -hmm. uh, That's cold. It's cold. So we thought, well, we're going for a long distance trip. We may as well tell you what our energy expenditure is uh, throughout the whole trip. This this trip is basically going to be real world. Real world conditions. We're not, you know, gonna shut everything off and drive really slow. We're gonna be on the highway, regular highway speeds. Right, because I mean, all you people out there who are getting a Model 3, you wanna know if you live in a cold climate what right. you're really gonna be able to do with the car in the winter. Yeah, and this is an abnormally cold day here in Massachusetts, 10 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, so let's- Let's do it. Let's warm up and let's hit the road. So we're going to reset trip A, and that is going to tell us the miles that we traveled, the kilowatt hours used, and the watt hours per mile. Let's call it something cool. All right. Let's call it 10 degrees. Here we go. All right, so we're back from our trip, and uh, how did it turn out? So we went 46.5 miles. We used 19 kilowatt hours, which averages out to 400 watt hours per mile. What does that mean for people who you know, aren't EV aficionados, is that a lot of power? Is it a little power? I mean, that's really good, I'll be honest. We were driving on highways, yeah. so we were, you know, we were not, uh, you know, driving slowly. We were not hypermiling. We were, we had our heat on. So let me just point out that we are at eight degrees outside, um, which means that the battery is not working at its efficiency, its best efficiency. Right, so um, we would have limited range. Then I want to point out that we were using our seat warmers, both of us. We also had the heat on the entire time, yeah. and we're talking blasting the heat because it's so cold out. Yep. We were also using the um, rear defrost a lot, mm -hmm. and we're using all of our headlights. So I mean, we're using as much power as this car can make, yep. and we were still getting 400 watt hours per mile. If I were driving Sparky, that would be about 600, 650 watt hours per mile. Yeah, and I don't even want to know how much my leaf would be using. Hmm. So, Jesse, what are we doing here? We did one test where we did not warm up the car in the slightest. Okay. And then we drove it 20 miles, and then we let it sit in the cold for like an hour. Uh-huh. And then we drove for another 20 miles. Oh, I see. And so the problem with that is that... Um... The battery needs a chance to warm up. If you don't give the battery in other parts of the car chances to warm up, then your efficiency is going to be a lot lower because the battery has a lot more internal resistance, which means that it can't you know, provide as much energy to the car, meaning that you're gonna be a lot less efficient. Bearings and stuff need to warm up. Everything basically in the car when it's nine degrees, now six degrees yeah. out, it needs to warm up. Yeah, no, I get that, but it, it's, it's six degrees out, so what's the difference? Well, this time we pre-warmed the battery, so it should be pre-warmed and ready to go. Oh, okay. So let's see, I guess what I've done here is I've zeroed out uh, trip B here, which I'm calling pre-warm. Mm -hmm. It's zeroed out and uh, we will compare and contrast. Let's uh, let's do it, are we going someplace? Yeah, we're going to Portland, Maine. What? Uh, what how far away is that? It's a, it's about 100 miles. Oh, uh, wait Jesse, it's, it's nine o'clock at night. Yeah, yeah, so. Uh, uh, you think that's a good idea? It's one of the coldest nights of the year. Uh-huh. Hope it all goes well. See you guys later. <laughs> all right, Jesse, so it's uh, five degrees out. Yep. It's almost 10 o'clock at night. And what's, what did you say the plan was? Uh, we're going to Freeport, Maine, which is a little bit more north than Portland, Maine. Uh, that says that it's 118 miles? Yep. Why are we doing this? Because we need to test. We need to make sure and see what the real range of this car is once it's warmed up. Once we take it for a long distance, you know, if you're traveling, if you're going to grandma's house, and grandma lives in the middle of nowhere, we gotta test it. How do we know that the battery is warm? The regenerative braking limited sign has gone away. So basically when, when the battery's too cold, it can't accept as much power. Um, and so you don't get as much regenerative braking, which is sad um, because regenerative braking is awesome. But luckily we have warmed up the car enough to the point where the battery is, will accept all, all regenerative braking. So that's excellent. All right. That means that we are on our way to Freeport, Maine. We will get there with 19% battery power. All right, well, if you didn't think we were crazy before, rethink that. Uh, Jesse, have you noticed the temperature? Yes, three degrees Fahrenheit. Are we nuts? Uh, apparently, it's, that's wicked cold, man. It's 
So. Oh, went up to four. Oh. Ah, nice. Hey, uh, it's two degrees out. Really? Because it's not two degrees in here. Wow. It, it's 66 degrees in here. Oh, yeah. And it's very comfortable. And it's and especially with the seat warmers. Oh, my gosh. Seat warmers make the whole car feel 20 degrees warmer. Toasty. It's so toasty in here. And look, we're doing really well on our numbers so far. Yeah. I mean, 371. Yeah. 372. Like, that's over 200 miles of range. Yep. In two degree weather. Yeah, that's amazing. So, Jesse and I are hungry, so we decided to pull off in Portsmouth, New Hampshire. Mm -hmm. Lovely Portsmouth. We really do love this town. And uh, it seems like there's a few places still open. We figured if we tried to make it to Freeport, everything would be closed. So, we're gonna stop off in Portsmouth, see what we can find for food. All right, so we just stopped off. Getting some food at the Wilder. All right, so it was nice and warm there in the Wilder. Uh, what's it feel like now? <laughs> it hurts to breathe. <laughs> Wait a minute. What did I tell you? It didn't. Wait a minute. It warmed up. What just happened? Yeah, How did it, it get to be 10 up. degrees? It was three when we left. Oh, or two. Someone must have breathed out, I guess. That's not possible. I don't think it's It's only been an hour. Uh oh. Oh dear. We've got the snowflake. What does that mean? The that snowflake. means that the battery is cold. We gotta find ourselves a super cha-cha. All right, so we're full and we've proved our point, so we're going home. <laughs> we're not going to Freeport Maine. <laughs> That's dumb. That's a stupid idea. All right, I don't want to jinx it or anything, but it's really cold out, and yet the car started. What? No problem. <laughs> it's an electric car, man. It doesn't need to warm yeah, up. But the... Let me just point something out. Uh -huh. This morning, my wife's car did not start. Okay. Your girlfriend's car did not start. That's true. That's just two random ice cars that didn't start because it's so damn cold out. That's I true. bet you cars all over New England did not start this morning. Yeah, maybe that's why the traffic wasn't so bad today. That could be it. Whereas electric cars don't seem to have that problem. That's yeah. There's there's nothing there's no fire inside. That's true. The Model 3 doesn't have any fire inside if you're doing things correctly. So, I mean, I just want to point out AAA is probably so busy across New England just bringing, you know, charging batteries and starting cars and yeah. right? And yeah. when we go to electric cars, that's a problem that won't happen. That's true. So what do we got for pre-warm numbers? All right, so we went 53.4 miles. We used 20 kilowatt hours. That's 371 watt hours per mile. So 202 miles. That's not bad at all. That would be your range in the worst. And I mean, it's three degrees. It's three degrees. Yeah, I don't think it was ever 10 degrees. No. Yeah. So I think a drunk sat on our bumpers. So this is in pretty much coldest conditions you can get. I obviously 20, you know, minus 20, minus 50 exists in some crazy parts of the world. But for the most part, this is as cold as you're ever going to get it. And you still have 200 miles of range in the, and that's amazing. Yeah. My leaf has about four miles of range. <laughs> No, to be fair, it has like 40. So, I mean, overall, this is fantastic. And this is highway driving. We were not hypermiling. Nope. You know, we weren't just sort of cuddled up here with blankets and scarves and stuff. We weren't drafting. We were just keeping highway speeds. With the heat on. With the heat on. How about that, folks? So, it is one degree out right now, and we're at a supercharger. And if you notice, this little blue line on the um, battery, that is showing that the battery is cold. And so I believe what is happening is we're not pumping in a whole lot of juice right now at the supercharger because the battery does not like to get a lot of juice when it is cold. And so I think that what's happening is the battery is preconditioning itself to warm itself up. And I think this number has been going up actually. We started at about 19, mm -hmm. now we're at 23, and that's only been four miles later. So I think what's gonna happen is this number is gonna keep getting bigger as the battery gets warmer. But keep in mind, it's two degrees out. You know what would be nice? What? Is if you could like raise the headlights up a little bit. They seem like kind of low. Oh, uh, you can do that. No, I know, but you'd have to like go to a garage and have a guy with a screwdriver. No, 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 no. All we have to do is park the car and hit the adjust headlights button. No, that's crazy. That's not possible. That's it. That's all you'd have to do. And then it's controlled by the, you know, the little wheels on your, on your steering wheel. No, that's not possible. I'm serious. Come on, you, you pull my leg. All right, so let's adjust the lights. So you're telling me that we're in park now. We got a service, you got to adjust headlights. No way. Yeah, it's just incrementally getting a little bit higher. 
No way. Look at the horizon there. Look at the end of the road. Yep. I'm I'm gonna go down as far as I can. That's as far as I can. Now I'm gonna go up as far as I can. Are you kidding me? That's unbelievable. Look how, how high I can go. I can go like four feet high in the tree out there. Now That looks fantastic compared to what I had just driving a few minutes ago. Yep, cool. Wow, learn something new every day, now you know. Now you know.